guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my sister, Missy. We're gonna be doing a <laughs> get ready with us video. I feel really awkward filming with you. Like, I've never done a video before, so. <laughs> uh, you're gonna see a whole new side to me, people. <laughs> you might get a little Okay, funny. well, let's jump into this. <laughs> what primer do you wanna use? I'm oh. introducing her to my Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm she because she's it never and tried it. It's really weird. But it is weird, but it really works. It. it smells kind of manly for two seconds and then it goes away. <laughs> oh, what look are you going to do? I don't know. Probably something summery and peachy or something. I don't know. <gasps> I didn't even do my eyebrows. We're going to do our foundation and crap off camera. So we'll be back. Okay, never mind. We're going to do it on camera. <laughs> so let's do this. I'm going to start with this primer first. Okay, I'll show you how much. It runs. It runs really fast. No, no, no. Do it on the, on your fingers. Just on your fingertips. Yeah, that's enough. That's good. All right. Now what you, what primer over. are you going to use? This one, too? No, I'm going to use my 3D Effect IPKN New York Flash Cream Radiant Primer. This is what it looks like. Okay. So, like, this stuff smells like a man, for sure. Like, I feel like... Okay. <laughs> I feel very manly right now. It's weird. Do you feel manly? Do you use it on your eyelids also? Mm, if you want to. I just put a little bit Unless you use like, like eye primer. I mean, like I would much. use both. Who cares? <laughs> okay. I noticed it, like, I have really huge pores. And then it like, does. Let it, rub it till it gets kind of tacky. Like, and then. It, it does off. feel like it's filling in my pores. Then I'm going to use my Bye Bye Under Eye for under my eyes and my beauty blender to blend that out. Mm. Have you ever tried Bye Bye Under Eye? Mm -mm. I ate cosmetics. Oh my god, it's fantastic. I love it. All I have um, is a mini right now because uh, it lasts a long time. I'm going to start by concealing all this crazy acne that I've got going on. The camera doesn't pick it up as yeah, well. Yeah, speaking but, of, ignore my And I'm going pimples. to use uh, Revlon Photo Ready Concealer for that. Then everywhere else to spot conceal, I'm going to use my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Ivory. So the reason that I use concealer first, because I know a lot of people do it after, is because right now this is the dark, lightest concealer that I have and it's darker than my skin color. So <laughs> when I put foundation on after, it'll help blend it all in. I do something. Give me that. You know you're recording right now, right? Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, why don't you just be in charge of the recording part? Just Redness my hair around the nose. Okay, I'm going to blend all this out. She's going to try my Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics under her eyes. Oh. She's going to try it. Whoa, this stuff is thick. It's life. Okay, we're all concealed, and she's moving on to foundation. I forgot to prime my eyes, so I'm going to do that. For foundation, or I prime my eyes after I do my full face stuff. Yeah, because I'm going to use something I will say later as a primer. This is my eyeshadow primer, my Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. Love this stuff. <clears throat> For foundation, I'm using a combination of Rimmel Stay Matte, and it's the color light porcelain and then i'm using this micro clear neutrogena it's for like acne uh i'm not sure what the color is because it's really faded but the reason i'm combining them is because this one's a lot thicker and lighter and this one is more liquidy so it offsets the thick uh rimmel and it's also a little bit darker so it's just this cool makes a good color match see the difference Sorry about all the eyeliner, but this one's really light. I've, I'm having color issues right now since it, I'm super pale still from, still from the winter. And I'm going to use my NYX name Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in Creamy Natural, like always. I've never used that before. I love it. I applied it. I applied it straight to my beauty blender and... Yeah. <laughs> I like to put mine on my hand first and then so I can mix the two colors. If I was mixing colors, and I just kind of put it everywhere. This is a little light. <laughs> I don't typically do quite a full face. Like sometimes, one thing I like to use on a typical day is the uh, Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This one I know is pretty popular. It's really good for just like a light coverage sort of day. I can just feel it, it now. It works as like a primer and a foundation. And I can like, just feel it now. We're going to get some comments on this video saying, Oh, that's why you take a swimming on the first date. What? 
you know, you've never seen that like meme on Facebook and shit. It's where you take your swimming on the first date, because which is why a lot of makeup. <laughs> there's like what? There's it's like called something. waterproof spray. Waterproof Men out there. Spray? Yeah. Or is there a waterproof spray? There's a waterproof setting spray. I really want to get the MAC setting spray, but you know. So, whoa, I look really pale. See, like, this is still pretty light. Even I always look pale in the combination, right here, though. But, like, when I put browns around it, it's perfect because then. Oh, God, that's good. Yeah, I don't know all the cool hip makeup stuff, unlike this one over here. Mm -hmm. I'm using a dry beauty blender because. What is yours? I just like it sometimes. Yeah, this is the real. I think real it's the real techniques techniques one. It's it's not. I, health, I don't ever tried the real one before, so I can't Let compare it. Yeah. This one feels a lot softer and lighter. Yours is like less bouncy, I guess. But I feel like it'd be nice to conceal with because it's so tiny. Yeah. The the only thing about it. You no, know, when you get that wet, it'll be so that, much bigger. Yeah, I've seen it. Tears I've easily. It. Yeah, I already tore this one once with my nails. And that's a twenty dollar beauty blender. This one was, I think, like five dollars, five something, or four. Something. I actually hear people talk about the Real Technique sponge a lot. I just, I'm behind the game. Okay. I didn't well, even get my beauty blender my until lip. recently. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. We're both doing brows now. What are you using? I'm using. Typically, it doesn't really matter. I just use a charcoal pencil, eyeliner pencil, for my eyebrows because, like, charcoal color. I'm blonde, but I, I'm not a fan of blonde shaded. Brows. Brow pencils because like I don't like the brassiness and um, so I'm this one is this one is actually from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, it's just called I think Boutique. Yeah, I learned it's in smoke. And then I use Ooh, that this is also from Sally. That smells so it's good. It's a fold up little brow and Ooh. lash thing, and I use this to help uh, like blend out the color. Yeah, she's in travel mode because she's. Over at my house. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to brush out my brows with the e.l.f. Professional Brow Comb and Brush. And then I'm going to use my Chella Eyebrow Pencil in Tantalizing Taupe. And I just kind of... Okay. <laughs> I just kind of, like, follow the natural cur curvature of my eyebrows. I don't like... Samuel! <laughs> I don't like outline it like a lot. Of you people. know what's something creepy, and I hope you're watching. Clint watches these videos. Isn't that creepy? Do Just people saying. on YouTube know who that is? <laughs> My baby daddy. That's a terrible thing. To say. I hate saying it like that. Okay, here's a better way to put it. Sperm donor. <gasps> Samuel. You act like you're all offended. <laughs> no. Oh my god, you called him a, a, a sperm donor. Um, why am I doing this on camera? I'm gonna do this off camera. Okay, eyebrows on. On fleek. Is that what everyone says? On fleek? Mm hmm I don't say that. <laughs> and I'm gonna set my under eye before they crease more and drive me even more crazy because I forgot to set them. I'm gonna use my Airspun Loose Face Powder by Koji. I'm going Always, to the shit gets everywhere, but I love it. To set my under eyes, I'm using... Uh, this is the first time I've used this, actually. And I'm going to use the Postal Sense Ofra, brush. Ofra, I guess. Ofra? Ofra, Ofra Cosmetics. And it's um, a banana powder. To set your under eyes? I have never even used it. It doesn't smell like banana. It's just the color of banana. No, I, I just wanted to see. Oh. Oh, I didn't bring a brush. I hate using this term, but I'm a bake. I need to borrow a, a brush. What brush? Like a... Uh, yeah, you don't know. Right. Ah, this. What? No. Do you use like a fluffy brush? No. I like to use. Not the reason I like to use judge. a flat brush is because. Um, Do you bake? I like to like get really nice in there because if I don't really conceal under my eyes or set under my eyes, then it looks really badly because I have really big under in eyes. Powder. So don't There's sleep no. in your makeup. I fell asleep in my makeup like three days ago, and your... now my face is completely broken out. I do it all the time. I'm sure most YouTube beauty gurus or whatever they call them know better. <laughs> I think everybody knows better. But I'm not do sure you I follow like this. that rule. No. I'm not. Just for the record, um, you don't like that. It might work better. Too for yellow. 
Yeah. It's supposed to offset the blue under your eyes, supposedly. But I concealed so much under my eyes that it wasn't blue anymore. <laughs> so now it's a little yellowy. Um, so I'm gonna go Brush back it off. under there again with my um, regular powder. Regular face powder. Once I get to that point. But first, I'm going to do bronzer. Well, mine is set. I do bronzer last. But for bronzer today, because I don't really have good bronzer with me, I'm going to use. Want to use mine? <sighs> what do you have? My NYX matte bronzer in light. Okay, I'll use that. Sure, I'll try it. But first of all, let me just say what I usually use. Color payoff's really good on this, so be careful. <laughs> what I usually use, since I don't have a color that I don't like, that I like right now, I use this sweat and Oh my god, we're at 11 minutes already. Oh my gosh, we need a Okay. <laughs> my goodness. Usually I use a sweat and wild palette. And it's called the Naked Truth, and I use this really dark brown color. I know it looks intense, but I just use that lightly to contour, and then I use um, Position Formula bronzer to buff it out and make it a little more bronzy rather than brown. But. And I'm just brushing off my baked powder, my powder that I was baking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I hate that term. Baking. Wow, I like this. It's very like setting skin. powder. It's kind of thin apples. To me. Okay. Let's start on my eyes. Oh my eyes. This is gonna be a very long video, sorry. I'm going to use my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear and go in with a crease brush and do my crease with that. Have you explained to your YouTubers that you can use it? What kind of camera you're using right now and this is why you don't edit? <laughs> Samuel! My goodness! Hmm. Well, I guess a mirror would be useful. What? Oh, they know. I record on a phone. I ain't got no laptop yet. And that's why there's no editing going on. I mean, subtle editing. Not like but it's more difficult to edit on a phone. Especially when you don't have fancy software. Oh, I really like this. No, I don't look so Pale. You're always gonna look pale on that camera. Mm -hmm. Person, it's amazing. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do my overall setting powder, which is. These keep breaking, so I keep buying them. They're really cheap, though. Uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. I know you this is fix a broken powder. I'll yeah, go but I don't know. A quarter? Yeah. I haven't heard that one. I've heard other methods. Though. But I feel like it changes the formula a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go under my eyes with this, like I said, to so help get rid of that yellow from that video powder I used. Isn't this eyeshadow gorgeous? It's called Kill the Bear. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Like, it's makeup geek. And I like to go over my brows since I do use a gray. Pencil. I like to lighten it a little. Please excuse my cranky ass son. <laughs> Samuel, take a nap. Where's my palette though? Thought you jacked my palette, girl. I'm gonna go in with the Smoky Revealed palette by Coastal Scents. And with my, if I can freaking find what I want, with my Royal and Lane Nickel brush in BX80. I think I'm getting really going to apply. It's like peachy brown right here. It's like a peachy gold brown. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do my highlighter. And I'm using the Balm Cosmetics Mary Lou Luminizer. <laughs> and I'm just going to take that right above my bronzer. Um, my eye. Oh, I forgot blush. I do blush last. Well, we're really off here. <laughs> I don't like to highlight my nose, tip my nose or anything, or my T-zone, because I'm oily already. And I don't want to be too dry shiny. As dry can be. I'm dry and oily at the same time. <laughs> okay, this is a really old cover girl. I'm just going to use it because I don't use it. That's what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. It's kind of springy. What color is it? I don't have a blush brush with me. I need to borrow one. 
Do you like? I don't know. The color. What kind of blush brush? Like, do you like it? Like, slanted? <laughs> Sorry, yes. guys. Yes. I usually use a fluffy uh, kabuki brush for my brush. Ooh, Okay, I think I'm gonna actually deepen this my eyes. This is really pink, so I'm just dabbing it on to start. And then I'm gonna go back in with that crease brush I used and take a little bit of this dark matte black brown and go That's in really pink. my outer corners. <laughs> on camera, it's not really picking up quite as well, but. That's pretty pink. Moving on to my eyes now. I'm going to What's prime my eyes. This blush is really pink. Mm. I'm going to prime my eyes with a Maybelline color tattoo. This one is barely, barely branded. I like to use these color tattoos a lot as primers for color. They're really good. Everyone talks about how nice those are. They're really? in comparison with the MAC paint pots or whatever, but some people like those better. Like, this one's not I like those better for the fucking price like i would not spend whatever a mac paint pot costs like i don't even buy mac stuff i'd Aren't like, like twenty dollars for like one i think so something like that i'd like to try like mac products but i just cannot see myself spending that much money on a product like that mm -hmm. like i don't know I'll give I mean, you this. If like, really... Some of my products are kind of expensive, but normally I would never spend that on. But I either get them on sale or I get them in subscription boxes. I just use my finger okay. with this because it's the easiest. I'm going to line my eyes with... the cream. Sorry. I'm going to line my eyes with the Starlux Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. I mean, and the thing is, some people might say if you're a true makeup guru or whatever, whatever, you won't care what you're spending on makeup, but you can be... I'm a mother first. So, you know. Okay, I'm going to use her Real Smoky Palette, Coastal Sense Palette, for um, a base for my eyeshadow, and I'm just going to use the slightest color here. It's like a nude color on your eyes. Yes. This video is going to be really long. Just going in the corners and bringing out a bit. I'm also gonna pick it up, use it as a um, what do you call it? Uh, what? When you put when you, when you on your brow bones, the referred a highlight, a, high, a brow hot bone highlighter <laughs> or something. <laughs> My foot is asleep. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply my mascara, which is I'm gonna be using the Stila Huge mascara. I'm so behind. Like... No, you're just like in a different okay. order. I okay. still have to do my face. Yeah. Like... Okay. I'm using Beauty Cosmetics. It's Judy Time eyeshadow palette. It's um, actually a fellow YouTuber on here. I love her. She's amazing. She has two twin daughters and um, she's been stalking her for as and long an, as I And an older remember. daughter, Juliana. And they're really great. They, Her husband does lots of cooking stuff. Oh my and, god, I messed up. Yeah, I won't go on about that. We might link her in the description. She's great. Check her out. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with this one right here. It's a third. And I'm gonna use that in my crease. Okay, she's starting on her eyes now, and I just applied my mascara, and now I'm going to highlight my brow using my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It's been on my eyes, by the way. <laughs> so, I just used the this new time color in my crease, and now I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild palette I was talking about earlier. And I'm going to use this crease color um, on the outer edge of my lid, and this darker color in my uh, corner. Please excuse my fussy butt, baby. While she is over there dealing with BB, I'm going to line my eyes with this Scone Cosmetics uh, Tattooed Eyeliner, which is, this is also the first time I'm using this product. Yeah, we got both of our babies here, so. <laughs> Mine just woke up. <laughs> Guys, she's using that, what is it, Starlux? No, Scone. She's using mm -hmm. that Scone eyeliner that I tried in my, uh, 
Get Ready With Me Ipsy Unbagging for last month. It's the eyeliner that came in my bag last month. It's awful. I thought maybe she'd like it. I no, like I don't it. think it's awful. It's just really difficult Hard to, get to use a straight because line. the tip is very bendy. Yeah, it's very pointed. It's, too, it's, it's not stiff enough. Bendy, so it's kind of... And it's very that liquidy. so runny, yeah. So I'm having a difficult time. Plus, I'm blind, so I usually use a mirror with a zoom. So I don't have one of those. I don't like to see my pores up that close. <laughs> Doc mixed up. That's mine over there. Yeah, we'll show you both both of the babies together, both the boys together. You can see him over there. That's Cooper. She's trying to feed the baby, so I'm holding her oh. mirror for her <laughs> while she does her <laughs> mascara. I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic. Everyone's and raving also, about this telescopic. My mom got me a tube, and I haven't tried it. Went yet. in with that bottom crease color under my eye, and... <laughs> we even look like sisters? I wonder. Like, I wonder if other people think we look like Hey guys, so I'm just gonna let you know I what I used on my face. I finished my face. Finished my face. I used my NYX uh, matte bronzer in light MBB01. Then I used my Mary Luminizer, of course, because it's my favorite luminizer. And then our highlighter. And then I used my Frat Boy blush. With babies, things are difficult right now. <laughs> but I wanted to add that I used this. Good old great lash for the, my bottom lashes because the telescopic's a little too lengthening. But I like having big full lashes on the bottom as well. But we're moving on to lips. So I'm going to use the OCC crazy Lip looking. Tar Stained Gloss. That's crazy. And <laughs> color is this? I have no idea what color this is. I'm going to use is this man Um, these are all really good. Um, this one is Nude Bronze. Typically, I moisturize my lips first, but I have yeah, no chapstick around anywhere. I have no idea what color this is. It doesn't say, so, you know. I really wish I had a moisturizer. Okay, and this is our finished looks, and I actually changed my mind on my lipstick and went with my Ofra Liquid li liquid Lipstick in Americano, <laughs> and I think it works better. <laughs> and these are our boys. Cooper and Sam. Hi! <laughs> Sorry it was such a mess. <laughs> They're used to it. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys, and thumbs up and subscribe, and feel free to shoot me a comment.